Hello, brothers and sisters. We welcome you all back to the Sons of God channel. In today's video, we will be sharing with you all two most recent messages which were given to Sir Luz de Maria. First, we will be sharing the latest one. The next, we will be sharing the earlier one. Please stay attentive to the end of the message. Open your hearts and minds and ensure you do not lose any vital information. Amen. Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Do not let us fall into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Come Holy Spirit, fill the heart of the faithful, enkindle in them the fire of divine love. Send forth your Spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations through Christ our Lord. Amen. St. Michael the Archangel to Luz de Maria de Bonilla on November the 28th, 2022. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, be filled with the blessings of the Most Holy Trinity and of our Queen and Mother. I am sent by the Most Holy Trinity. At the beginning of the session of Advent, I come to remind you of the duty of each one of you to live in peace of heart, the duty to carry the divine light within each one of you and to be light for your brothers and sisters. People of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, the children of the King must prepare to live Advent by repenting of sins committed while maintaining faith, hope and charity. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, light the first candle of this Advent in every church, in every home, in every heart, knowing that our King and Lord Jesus Christ is the light of the world and that this light will keep burning forever and ever. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, you continue to cling to material things, unaware that what is material will soon be a memory due to the imposition of what will be called a new currency. Humanity's reaction will be to weep at the loss of control over material things. The human race will be subjugated. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, when I see paganism in the midst of humanity, I see humanity's self-hatred in allowing itself to continue to live in the shadows. This is the time for humanity to cast away debauchery and to accept being ever closer to the Most Holy Trinity and our Queen and mother of the end times. Convert now, you must not wait. It is urgent for the children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ to begin the path of conversion and to strengthen their faith. This generation is dominated by earthly power. The evil one has set up to destroy the family and to make the human race scorn our queen and mother. This generation is in grave danger from the great volcanoes around the world that are awakening one after the other. Pray, children of God, 
Pray for Japan. It will suffer due to nature and its neighbors. Pray, children of God. Pray, suffering is coming to Brazil. Pray, children of God. Pray for San Francisco. It will suffer due to nature. Pray, children of God. Pray for Chile, Sumatra, Australia. They will be shaken by the forces of nature. People of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, continue to till the spiritual soil, increasing faith, hope, and charity. Love, and you will receive all other things as well. Humanity is being purified. It is necessary through purification for divine love to reign in every heart. I bless you with my sword held high. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. That is the end of the first message from St. Michael the Archangel. Brothers and sisters, let us ensure we thank St. Michael on the comment section for giving us this message. Then let us give this video a like and let us share this video with thousands of people so that they also can partake the salvation of souls. If you have done this, let us now patiently wait and listen attentively to all that was given in this second message. Message from our Lord Jesus Christ to Luz de Maria, November the 30th, 2022. Beloved children of my Sacred Heart, I come to you with my love, with my mercy. I invite you to look at your own faults. It is necessary that you look at yourselves so that you may be part of those who bear witness to my love. I am unity. My children are confused and divided and are easy prey to evil. They launch themselves to devastate one another. Who possesses greater words, greater faith, hope and charity? And yet they receive me in my body and blood, offending me by not being my children who use the gift of the word to create but to destroy. These are the high moments when my people suffer because of nature, because of indecent fashions, because of the lack of morals among my people. Everything is good because God is mercy. I am mercy and I look at the acts and actions of my people, offending me in the face of so much distancing and disobedience. My children, what is this? It is the product of the fact that my children are not marrying. They do not love my mother. They are like those who call themselves orphans. This makes them creatures who are not guided by my mother, intercessor of each one of you. I see how some of my children, by not eating with me, live in the constant novelty of the society that welcomes the worldly and sinful, leading them away from the right way of acting. They forget easily at the convenience of the erroneous criteria, being easy prey to evil, which at this time has decided to divide my church and lead them to perdition. My beloved people, there are so many countries that suffer the ravages of nature, so many who suffer hunger and thirst for justice. And my children, where are they? They are silenced so that they do not raise their voices. Pray, my children. Pray for my children who are imprisoned to be silenced and are abandoned. Pray, my children, pray for Australia. It is shaking with force and fracturing its land, raising the waters of the sea towards the coasts of South America. Pray, my children, pray the convulsions, the uprisings, the lack of food with which you will begin the coming year is a sign that you're being led to the time of famine and you will be at the gates of not being able to buy or sell. Pray, my children, 
Mankind is absorbed in passing interests. They forget everything. They do not listen or think. Their happiness is in the results. Pray, my children. Pray. The passing of the moment continues, and without thinking, you will be in the hands of communism. Pray, my children. Pray. The waters of the ocean are entering the city admired by my children. The city of the Great Bridge in the United States will live the great tragedy. They know it and do not return to me, but the doom is greater every day. Golden Gate Bridge or the Brooklyn Bridge. Pray, my children. Brazil is plunged into chaos. These my people must. Banish the moments of merriment, where they offend me with sins, especially sins of the flesh. Chaos arrives, and my children suffer. Pray with the heart is urgent. In this way, you will attenuate the events and the riots. Pray, my children. Pray for Spain. It is shaking strongly. Pray, my children. Pray for Mexico. The earth is shaking. The disease is present. Pray, my children. Pray. The tiger rose, and the lion joined him in silence. They will attack the eagle that has stood upright. Beloved children, your attention must remain focused on me. Otherwise, the plagues of evil will rob you of peace. Lovelessness will lead you to utter despicable. Words towards your brothers. It will fill your mouth with words of evil. It will elevate your ego, so that you will hurt your brothers. Be dutiful to love and humility. The human creature without humility is easy prey for the devil. Be love in these moments when peace hangs on the thought of a human creature. Pray with your heart. Be creatures of prayer and unity. Keep yourselves in me, being doers of my will. I bless you, my children. You are the apple of my eye. Your Jesus. Hail Mary, most pure, conceived without sin. Commentary by Luz de Maria. Brothers, to remain undistracted and not to abstain from the divine word gives the strength to face the daily events and even more the catastrophes that heaven has previously announced to us. Our Lord Jesus Christ told me that a comet will put mankind on edge; that we will watch it for several days. But our Lord has given emphasis. On inner change, on being new creatures, that we should be spiritually alert, so as not to be confused. He has mentioned to me that the confusion that is coming for humanity is great, and that we must remain attached to the commandments, to the sacraments, that we must be knowledgeable of the catechism of the Church, and that we must strengthen our faith in prayer. Dedicating time to reflect and improve every day. He also mentioned to me that each day we should have a moment alone with Him. Amen.